Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Tuesday the 8th of December 2015 and we're briefly covering Donald Trump's announcement to ban all Muslims from entering the United States. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has called for Muslims to be banned from entering the United States. He said they should be banned, quote, until our country's representatives can figure out what is going on, unquote. Let's listen. We have no choice. According to Pew Research, among others, there is a great hatred toward Americans by large segments of the Muslim population. Most recently, a poll from Center for Security Policy released data showing 25% of those polled agreed that violence against Americans, these are people that are here, by the way, people here, 25, not 1%. By the way, 1% would be unacceptable. 1% is unacceptable. 25% of those polled agreed that violence against Americans here in the United States is justified as part, think of that, as part of the global jihad. They want to change your religion. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Not going to happen. Republicans, Democrats, Muslim leaders, the United Nations and foreign leaders criticized the call as dangerous and divisive. Rival candidate Jeb Bush called Mr. Trump unhinged, while former U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney said it goes against everything we stand for and believe in. Though Ted Cruz, a rival candidate, praised Mr. Trump, quote, for standing up and focusing America's attention on the need to secure our borders, unquote, although he said he disagreed with the policy. Mr. Trump told Fox News that the ban would not apply to people living in the country, adding that Muslims serving in the U.S. military would come home. White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest challenged the Republican Party to denounce Mr. Trump and stated that the proposal, quote, disqualifies him from serving as president, unquote. It is not the first time the New York billionaire has come under fire for anti-Muslim remarks. After the terror attacks in Paris, he suggested they register on a database and he said the U.S. should refuse all Syrian refugees. Then he said thousands of Muslims in New Jersey cheered during 9-11, despite only limited evidence supporting this. Last week, a Muslim couple, believed to have been radicalized, opened fire and killed 14 people at a health center in San Bernardino. Coupled with events in Paris and a number of alleged thwarted attacks elsewhere have appeared to have led to Mr. Trump's announcement. Let's listen. If they want a global jihad now, George, we can take it sitting back. You will have many more World Trade Centers. It will only get worse. You look at Paris, and you know, and I'm not talking about the horrible carnage that took place. Paris is no longer the same city. They have areas in Paris where the police refuse to go to it. So I understand to go there because it's so dangerous. I understand what you're saying. There. There. There's no Sir. law and order. I, we I, don't I, want that for our country, George. We have to figure it out. But tell me how. So there we have it. Donald Trump capturing world headlines yet again, but with widespread condemnation. Is this a step too far? We shall just have to wait and see. We hope you found this video helpful and informative and would appreciate it if you would give it a thumb up, comment and if you haven't already done so please subscribe. Please also share this 
on Twitter and follow us at Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.